Hi, this is a Yesterday's Moose production, and we're back with Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom for Xbox One. In this episode, we're going to start off by doing some backtracking, because there were some things that I noticed that I had not looked into, such as this waterfall. I wanted to see what was up here. And it looks like there's a truffle. So what kind of truffle are we going to get? Looks like a super tornado truffle. It is a super tornado truffle. And that means we should have enough to open a chest, which I will eventually do. However, first I want to go in here and do a bit of fast forwarding. Because there was a place that you can smell as a pig. And I didn't notice it the first time I went through here. And it looks like I just got some money. Not very much money, mind you. But still, I want to try to get 100%. So we're going to do a bit of backtracking now that we have more super tornadoes. Back to the Crystal Caves. And I kept getting frozen, which was rather annoying. But hey, that's what fast forward is for. So let's see what's in this chest. It takes 20 tornadoes to open it. And looks like we got another power gem. So let's take that power gem back to the town. And we'll upgrade one of our items. Well, I guess I'll upgrade these boots. Why not? Looks like there's still a lot of items that I haven't gotten yet as well. Wonder where, when I will get those. So here we are. Now we can go forward. Now at this point I do want to mention that I did try commenting on this video while I was playing. However, the recording time was well over an hour and I kept encountering sections where uh, I got stuck over and over again. So I guess I just gave up on recording uh, live while I was playing and uh, went back to doing the commentary after the fact. It is slightly easier to do it this way. Also, this is the second time that I've recorded this commentary because the first time there was a big, huge problem with uh, the edit that I had done. So I got halfway through it and realized that I needed to re-edit everything. And so I re-edited everything and here we are. I am now commenting on what I am doing. I will continue to try to comment on things while I'm playing and uh, include them. I do find it easier to uh, concentrate on playing uh, rather than commenting. But like I said, I will try. And when that happens, I will mention it in the commentary. I'll say, hey, 
I'm doing it live now. So here we are, we got this new mechanic of pushing blocks, and that's going to uh, come into play a lot. Also have a hidden chest. It also occurs to me that this is probably the first game that I've played where smelling is your superpower. That's a little uh, unusual and also interesting. In a box, what's in the box? We got something. Frog Talisman grants you the ability to swallow, hold, and spit many kinds of objects and enemies while in frog form. Okay, that's interesting. So now we're going to be able to move these blocks around by holding them in our mouth. And it seems that this is uh, all I need to do right now. Except maybe get some money. steal these guys bombs I'm not sure if I did that in the previous video or not achievement unlocked return to sender kill an enemy with a bomb you swallowed while in frog form well obviously I didn't do exactly that action ooh we got a music sheet I haven't been back to Ollie in a little while. Eventually I'll go back and return the music sheet. Along with any other music sheets that I've uh, accumulated up until this point. wondering if I was going to pick up that gold or not. But the gold does stay around for a long period of time. But hey, I just I just forgot some gold. I missed it. Got a temple. Do a bit of editing here. I think because I was wandering around aimlessly. Hey, we got a sphinx. A visitor. Hi there, I'm the Sphinx. There have been Sphinxes in previous Wonder Boy games. Hi Sphinx, my name is Jim. Do you want to enter this temple? Sure. Well, first I must ask you three questions before I can let you pass. You know, Sphinx business. Only if you answer all three correctly will I open the door for you. Sounds easy. But if you get an answer wrong, I will kick you out. How rude. Sorry, it was my cousin's idea to make things more... How did they put it? Ah, yes. Fun. So let's begin with the first question. Who is the ruler of the Misty Woods? Misty Cat, King Mushroom... Or Foxmas? Well, I know it is King Mushroom. Correct. Next question. Which of these monsters did you battle first? A blob, a crab, a mushroom? 
Well, we were on that island, so it must have been a crab. Yep, pick a crab. There we go. Correct. Next question. What do I hate most in the world? Sausages, royal nectar, doing sports. So, I thought it might have been sausages, but I'm like, no, that's too easy. Why would they make it the first answer? So, I was like, okay, let's pick doing sports, because maybe the Sphinx likes royal nectar. And wrong answer. As I said before, losers can't stay here. Come try again later. I like the, the design of that Sphinx, by the way. Pretty unique. I think the Sphinx in Wonder Boy Monster World is the only one that actually looked like a Sphinx. There was also a Sphinx in uh, Wonder Boy Monster Land. Which was the second Wonder Boy game. Did you know the Sphinx hates sausages? Okay, so now we know the answer. I could be wrong, but I think there might be a Sphinx in Monster World 4. It's been so long since I've played that game all the way through, I can't remember. Also, out of all the Wonder Boy related games, that's the one that I, pl I have played the least. Because for a long time it was only available in Japan. And the first time I played it, it was in Japanese, so I didn't uh, understand uh, anything that was happening. Welcome back, Jin. Ready for my quiz? Let's start right away. Who is the ruler of the Misty Woods? Well, obviously it's King Mushroom, but they're in a different order now. Which of these monsters did you battle first? A crab? Okay, here we go. What do I hate most? You hate sausages. You answered all my questions correctly. Well done. As I said, you are now allowed to enter the temple. Be careful. It is a little sticky in there. So I thought there was just going to be a normal door, but we're actually going into the Sphinx's mouth. That's uh, fun. So now we get to the section where I did the most editing. Because there was a lot of uh, puzzle solving, let's call it where you have to rotate the rooms into the correct orientation to proceed. So you'll see at least a few times where I'm just standing there doing nothing and uh, at that time I'm just thinking, what do I need to do? So right there, we got a bit of editing. By the way, the original raw recording was well over an hour. So the fact that I cut this down to about 43 minutes just goes to show how much time I was wasting uh, rotating rooms and making mistakes. Got a little bit of editing there. I actually was wandering around quite a bit. I didn't see that switch right away. Alright, we got a block. We're going to have to carry that around for a while.
Ooh, we got a chest. What's in the chest? Gold stuff. Gold bracelet parts. And don't do that, by the way, because you'll propel yourself into the spikes and get hurt. And here we go. Now we can go in the upper right corner. And we activate those pedestals. It would be nice if you could use magic as a different character. But hey, I guess that's the idea of different transformations having different abilities. So we lit up one of those uh, orbs, I'll call it. And we need to light up three more. I thought that might have been a switch, but nope, not a switch. I'm not sure if that actually did anything. got some boots. Prince boots. Originally made for a prince known for his ability or his superior agility. Wearers inherit his double jump skills. Hey, cool. Now we can double jump. I like double jumping. And it looks like those lanterns are out now. I did see a few more of them. I'm wondering if you can uh, activate them to do anything. And did a bit of editing there because you can get poisoned by this guy. And at this point I'm wondering if there was something that I missed back in that previous room. In the next video I might have to once again backtrack to see if there was something that I missed. Get a revival potion and anti status effect potion. Get some fire spells while I'm at it. And I'm out of gold. Want to jump higher? 
do your second jump at the highest point possible. So this room here, I have some editing and the reason for that is because I kept getting hit by enemies. So I basically cleared them out and uh, now I'm just going to do the jumping. It is a lot easier when there are no enemies around. These guys, you cannot eat them while they are electrified. But when they're not electrified, you can eat them. So, heads up, you can eat your enemies when you're a frog. But don't eat this guy. Don't do it. Oh, you did it. Now you're status affected. Okay, pillar number two activated. Orb number two lit up. And I like that those uh, things give you full health. Now this next section here, I do have a bit of editing, basically because I went through this section a couple of times and kept getting hit by a rock. Here's the first time, crunch, got hit by a rock. So now I've been hit by the rock several times. I think I've learned my lesson. Watch out for spikes. Could really use some health right about now. That box. I'm not exactly sure how you trigger that box. But we got a power gem. That box gets triggered when the rock does what it just did. So it seems like you do have to double back at least once. But I'm not entirely 100% on that. And I died. And I died. Watch out for spikes. Spikes hurt you. We got a door. But it's closed. And I'm wondering what's in that door, if anything. Once again, might have to come back to this area just to explore it and see if there's anything that was missed. So we got a lantern that we can light up. And eventually I will do that. I will light it up. Nope, don't use lightning. Use fire. No, don't blow it up. Use fire. There you go. Surprise! Not only are there enemies, 
but we also have a ceiling that is coming down to crush us. Eating them is good. Just don't do it when they're uh, electrified. Got a new shield. Earth Aegis. An ancient shield forged from precious terrestrial materials that can reflect physical projectiles back towards foes. So right now we have 100% fire reflect and this has 50% reflection of da damage to enemies, reflects fire and physical projectiles. So let's go ahead and equip that. And eventually we can use the power gem to uh, power it up. I also missed a uh, health shop. Hospital, I guess it is. By the way, don't fall down because there's poisonous stuff. Did you know that you can hold your shield upwards simply by holding up? By the way, there are a lot of chameleons in this area. So I battled a lot of them and kept falling down. So I just basically cut out the sections of me falling down over and over and over and over again. But it is important to note that there are quite a few chameleons in this area. Ooh, money. Activate another pedestal. Orb number three. One more to go. Okay, did a bit of editing there once again just to save a little bit of time because I was rotating the room a lot. Caution, very dark corridor. You better find a source of light to move forward. Now one of my viewers had given me a heads up that there might be an item that uh, would light up areas and I'm going to get it very soon. Probably in that box. At first I thought I might be able to bypass these blocks. But I realized, okay, I gotta rotate the room. No, gotta rotate the room. See that thing on the right hand side there? Yeah, that thing. So 
Make sure you have enough bombs, by the way. Fortunately, I had just exactly the right number of bombs. Slight bit of an edit there because uh, that's the section that I had to clean up in editing. There was actually a big chunk of it missing, so I had to uh, put back in the missing part. So we got some new items. Prince Tunic. A garment once passed down through the royal family of a bygone empire. Special fabrics make it glow in the dark. Hey! We're gonna be able to glow in the dark. And it's at 50% shine. I guess you can power it up. Get more shine ability. Nice and crunchy. Swallow 10 mosquitoes in frog form. So, they are mosquitoes. For sure, 100% mosquitoes. And yes, there was a little bit of editing here because I kept going in and out of this room. Why? I don't know. I think I needed to reset that bad guy because he was spitting out bombs that I needed to use to blow up the wall. And a bit of a jump cut there because uh, this was another section that had accidentally been cut out. So I tried to put it back in as seamlessly as I could. Sometimes they don't uh, fit properly in editing. And we got the last pillar activated, the last orb lit up, and a door. Looks like we have to rotate the room to enter the door there. Or not. Lion Warrior. So the section that got cut out of editing, by the way, totally removed the introduction to this boss. And I don't think that uh, viewers would have liked that very much. And I apologize, there was a bit of a jump cut there. That was basically a problem with my uh, capture device. That sometimes it just stops working for no reason. I thought it was a good quality capture device, but uh, it has a lot of problems keeping itself active for long periods of time. 
kind of wonder if it's just overheating. By the way, you have to uh, reflect his green shots back towards him. doing a slight amount of damage on him right now. Time to do it again. See, I could have edited this out, but I wanted to leave it in. But now I have a much more accurate idea of how I'm supposed to defeat him. So you just reflect his shot back at him, he gets hurt, falls down, and then he's going to charge you, and that's when you rotate the room. And now he's going to play a pit of uh, ping pong or tennis, however you want to put it, kind of like in uh, Ocarina of Time and uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. It's also a little bit like Arkanoid or Breakout. And he's defeated. A lot easier when you know what you're doing. And it's transformation time! We're gonna transform into something. We are a lion. Great Orb of the Lion. Big Cat Achievement. Find a sacred orb that holds the power of the lion form. You now have the power to turn into a fierce lion. As a lion, you can dash by pressing that button to smash through destructible blocks. You can also perform a downward dash attack. And I'm pretty sure there were some places that I noticed to where that can come in handy. By the way, there was also a lion form in Wonder Boy 3. So it is a little odd that they would repeat the form in this game, but hey, I guess they just liked lions a lot. Ah! You're not eating me, Mr. Lion! Brother, it's me! I have a new form! Prove it! Zeki, don't make me kick your scaly butt. Big Brother, it is you. Actually, I'm not quite sure how to set you free. See anything on your side that might help? Hmm. Oh, I see something above me. I need to find a way to make it fall down. And the way to do that is to dash and slam into the wall over and over again.
Nice going. By the way, I heard a loud crash west of here. It made all the pirate shore rumble. Did you check it out? No. You know how I feel about pirates. Shudder. Okay, I'll go take a look. Thanks for the tip. So now we get to use this downward dash attacks. By the way, I like downward dash attacks. There were also downward dash attacks in Golden Axe, and I really liked using them in that. And at this point I was like, hey, should I just uh, let it save here and end the episode? And then I was like, no, I'll go a little bit further. Because maybe there's uh, more stuff ahead? I don't know. Not exactly sure what I was thinking. But eventually I go, there we go, okay, time for me to leave. And I think I saw something I could have downward dashed at. Like I said, I might do a bit, a bit of backtracking in the next uh, episode. get some money. Oh, and a lost music sheet. And I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to get the money on the left. Okay, money gotten. Ooh, a box. What's in the box? A power gem. Should be useful. I'm pretty sure we already have a few things that we can upgrade. And here we go. This section, now I decided okay. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So we'll pick up from this point in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. This has been a Yesterday's Moose production, and I'll see you next time!